Having a separate committee makes it clear that you're taking the importance of particular areas to heart. So it helps to highlight the importance of the nomination of new directors, directors' pay and the role of audit. On top of that, there are certain members of the board we don't really want around when certain decisions are being taken. So using separate committees helps to ensure that those people aren't in the room. And thirdly, having an entire board of directors involved in every single decision is potentially quite a slow process. Even if the board of directors only has seven or eight people on it, getting seven or eight people to agree on things can take a bit of time. So maybe it's a good idea to get three specialists, put them in a room together and let them advise the main board on what a good decision might be. So some fairly clear benefits of having board committees. What about the downside? Well, the main downside is that whenever you introduce a new committee, it's another stage of the decision-making process. Bear in mind that the committees will go back to the boards with recommendations, but the boards still need to agree to them. If the board wish to further debate what the committee have suggested, it may actually slow the process down. On top of that, of course, by having the committees, you introduce the need for more and more non-executives. And that costs money. It also costs the time of going and finding these non-executives. Of course, they need to be independent, so simply finding your friends to sit on these committees is not going to work.